Toonami Studios. I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this, but I guess we'll talk about it briefly. Deadpool issue 6 came out. I'm loving this run. I think Kelly Thompson's a great choice for Deadpool. I love that Elsa Bloodstone's in every issue because nobody loves Elsa Bloodstone like Kelly Thompson for some reason. I like her a lot, so that's really fun. This issue was great. We're just shitting on the X-Men right now, and I thought that was really cool. The main the main crux of this issue is Deadpool is playing a card game with the monster cards of the Marvel Universe. He sees there's this one called, was it Selpy or Belky? Belby? Bel Belfi or something? He's this mutant and he's also a monster. And then Deadpool looks at him and he's like, you're a mutant? So you could get me to Krakoa because they didn't invite me. So can you take just take me to Krakoa? So he climbs inside Belby here and he just goes to Krakoa. He he breaks in pretty much. He sneaks inside into one of the uh, the flower portals. Like I'll say it here too. I don't really care for Dawn of X or what's going on there. I don't. So <laughs> uh, cool on him cool on whatever Deadpool's doing here. Deadpool really made me appreciate himself a lot more in this issue because he's just like, you guys are crazy. You're fascist. He calling everybody a fascist all the time in this issue. He gets there. He's instantly attacked. He kind of just subdues them all and runs away. Then he goes to talk to Emma Frost and he's like, yo, I would like a flower to plant on my Staten Island so I could come visit you guys all the time. I mean, I know you're fascist and everything, but you're still like a mutant. And I, I guess according to the movies, I'm a mutant. So like, what's let's, let's hook up a bit here, Emma. Well, come on, work with me here, sister. And she's like, Nah, we're not gonna do that. We did like a probability test, and there was like a 97% chance that you were going to destroy this place in a month if you stayed here. And he gets really pissed off. And it's not even because he wants to stay. It's just because they never even bothered to ask him if he wanted to come. And he's like, I don't like feeling excluded. And this was a really fun issue, especially if you aren't sold on everything happening in Dawn of X like I'm not. I think a lot of stuff in Dawn of X has been very lackluster, uninteresting, very slow, very confusing at times, and it's not that appealing to me. So having a character like Deadpool who's kind of steeped in the X-Men mythology, who's connected to it in certain ways, just come in and say, what you guys are doing is stupid and wrong, I don't think it's gonna last. You're fascist for saying I can't come to your island, or for saying humans can't come here. You know what you're doing, right? You're lit you're doing everything you stood against. <laughs> so, what kind of a utopia is this? <laughs> and they they attack him again. Rogue's the one who talks him out of it, and he's like, "You can't steal a flower, sugar. You gotta just relax and not be so dramatic all the time." So he goes back home defeated. He's pissed off, and he says, "There are no mutants allowed on Staten Island. Y'all can't come back." Goodbye, mutants. No one's coming. And we see that Jeff the shark has actually stolen a flower, so now he does have a portal Krakoa. And that's really fun. Again, I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this, but I thought, what's bringing this up? If you guys are very kind of confused on the Dawn of X stuff, or you're not sold on it, I think you should read this issue and just see what part of the Marvel Universe is thinking about all of it. I mean, it's not referenced a lot in other books sometimes it appeared in ghost rider a bit when wolverine showed up and i think here's a good example of just like there's definitely something going on in krakoa and something going on with the x-men so seeing that here you never know what's going on so it could be something bizarre and weird and seeing the way deadpool reacts i thought was very interesting calling them fascists that's what they're being like they're they're being very secluded very inclusive to certain people but other people are not allowed even near them so i think that's a very fascinating angle to play and one i wholeheartedly agree with i think the x-men are being fascist and i don't really like what's going on there so having deadpool a character i'm not a big fan of call them out i thought that was hilarious so i thought i'd share that moment with you guys because it's a really good book probably one of the best deadpool books in a long time like the writing was great felt very deadpool the art was very clean very colorful I think it's one everybody should check out. So thank you for watching this review of Deadpool number six. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.